Angie and I come out uh, every evening. We like to come out and walk through the Stonewall Jackson Memorial Cemetery here in Lexington, Virginia. So many Paxtons are buried here, as well as Paxton family cousins by different last name. Uh, Barclay, uh, married into the McNamaras, um, just a whole lot of different families that have our family members in it. And I've been meditating on this scripture from Luke 10, 19. Most of you probably know this verse by heart. It says, Behold, I give you power over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Now, that doesn't mean that we live foolhardy lives and tempt God by trying to uh, drink poison or uh, walk on hot coals or any of that foolishness. But what this verse of scripture means, I believe, is that Satan sends his demon spirits to thwart the plan of God in our lives. And we can absolutely live a life of dominion over every effort of the enemy to get us away from the plan that God has for our lives. Also, it means that we can have absolute lives of dominion over circumstances all our life, as long as we live until we end up with the Lord and our bodies are in the going back to the dust of the earth, we can live our lives with dominion over circumstances. In other words, um, every day I <clears throat> have opportunities to fail. Every, every day I have opportunities to become upset, depressed, whatever the case might be. But those are just circumstances and ploys of the enemy to get my mind off the Word of God and off the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't have to let the enemy win in that battle. I can have a complete life of dominion over all the power of the enemy, over every uh, attack of the enemy, and uh, sometimes, you know, we think, well, we're being attacked because this or that or the other is going wrong. That's not necessarily always an attack. Sometimes it's a, a learning experience for us. Sometimes it is an attack, but we just don't know that we have victory. And so we respond to it in the wrong way. And very seldom is it ever people. Now, Satan will use people, but when we make a big mistake under the attack of the enemy, when we respond to people, we need to deal with the spirits that are motivating the individuals uh, to come against us in whatever way. But this verse of scripture just so much encourages me that I, I can refuse to be dominated by any kind of circumstance. And even when I'm hurting, or you know, even if when I'm sick or I don't feel well, which has been the case on this trip, much of it. Uh, I just went through some oral surgery and developed a tremendously bad virus. But I'm not going to let that have victory over me. I mean, we've been out here doing television and just hearing from the Holy Spirit. Even when you can't do as much as you normally would, you're still open to be led by the Spirit and, and to pray and to move out in victory in every capacity of life. Same thing with, with things that have happened to us, um, not, not just sicknesses, but other circumstances. I believe that I ref can refuse to be dominated by those. And that in the midst of wherever I'm at, whether it's in a jail cell or a prison cell, whether it's on a foreign field of battle, whether it's on a sick bed, <clears throat> wherever I'm at, I can do something spiritually for God in that moment. And so we're going to continue to walk around the little grounds here, just rejoicing in the fact that we can live lives of dominion. Nothing shall by any means hurt us. What does that mean? You say, Brother Len, I've been hurt. Well, I've been hurt too. But first of all about that, don't major on your hurts. Don't, don't let your hurts have the focus of your life. Don't whine about your hurts all the time. Don't whine about how many times people have let you down. I mean, who cares about that anyway when we have the Word of God, the blood of Jesus, the Holy Spirit. We have the power residing within us to be overcomers. You say, I've been hurt. Well, I've been hurt too. Everybody's been hurt. Hey, okay, we can all... Um, feel a kindredness in that that we've all been hurt but nothing can really hurt us what does that mean nothing can really separate us from the love of Christ and nothing can take the plan of God out of our hearts if we don't let it happen so I want to encourage you today to maybe begin to view your circumstances through different eyes from a different perspective pray and ask God to show you a heavenly perspective on what you're dealing with and what you're going through in life and know and understand that he's invested authority in you. He's invested dominion and victory in you through the blood of Jesus Christ and you can walk through life powerful, not pitiful. You can walk through life up and not down. You can walk through life 
victorious and not defeated if you'll simply trust the Lord with your life today. From Rock Ridge County, Virginia, this is Brother Paxton. Go with God and he will go with you.